you can do here um, if uh, you're swapping out uh, your hard drive, your hard drive dies, um, or you are upgrading your hard drive to a solid state drive, an SSD drive on your Mac, um, which I believe would be a uh, mid-2011 um, MacBook Pro or later. Um, and some of the older models too, I think, with a firmware update, uh, can do internet uh, recovery mode. And what that is, is instead of using an internet recovery partition on your hard drive, um, it's actually going to use internet recovery uh, net boot image off of Apple servers over the internet. Um, so we're going to try that right now. And the way you do that is um, you hold down the Option Command R keys when you boot up your Mac. Um, so let's say you just replaced your hard drive in your Mac and you have a time machine backup. In this case, I have a time machine backup on an external drive. Um, and I can just restore that back to my new drive, my SSD drive that I just installed. Um, so let's hold down the keys, Option Command R, and hit the power button and hold those keys down. Option Command R, and your computer will boot up. Um, now another thing uh, that I did is I connected uh, an Ethernet cable into my Mac and then right into my router or you can hook it right into your extreme base station with an Ethernet cable and your internet recovery will boot up a lot faster that way as well so instead of going wireless um, so we're booting up now and again, it will be similar once it boots up uh, to your recovery partition. But again, the globe signifies that you're net booting. And in this case, you're net booting over the internet, which is really cool. Uh, Apple has some of the best technology <laughs> I've seen uh, doing this kind of thing. So, And this is really helpful for anybody who has to restore their entire system, which can happen if you have a spinning drive too. You know, everything, everything wears out eventually. Um, but in this case, if you want to upgrade to a faster drive, uh, you can use this method of recovery as well. So we're almost booted up, it says one second, and there we are. Now we're booting up like a light version of the OS, um, just the bare bones so we can get uh, the recovery options up on the screen and there we are we're almost there and we should get the recovery options coming up now and there they are the Mac OS 10 utilities so what we'll do um, you could choose to reinstall Mac OS 10 uh, in this case we're just going to do a restore um, so I'll hit Restore from Time Machine Backup. Hit Continue. Uh, then it gives you some information on how to restore and some important information that it will destroy anything on the hard drive that you're restoring to. Um, so we'll erase it first and then it will restore your backup. So hit Continue. And then it will go try and find. You want to connect your external drive. Make sure it's connected to your Mac. USB drive. A Thunderbolt drive and then it will show up here in the list um, so now it says select a backup source that's going to be my USB drive hit continue and it will give you uh, the options on the backups and you can have a pull down menu if you have multiple computers back uh, backed up to the, your hard drive you can select which one you want in this case it will be the latest one so I'll hit continue And then you'll have to uh, select a destination drive. Okay, so what I did here was I went to Disk Utility in the pull-down menu, and Disk Utility came up. And it says unlock the disk. So if I unlock it, it asks me for my password. Type that in. Okay. 
Okay, so unlock the disk. Okay, so now it's unlocked. So I'm going to quit disk utility. And there we go. Um, if I click it and hit restore, it's going to blow away this disk um, and restore uh, my time machine backup. But I don't want to do that because <laughs> this is a demonstration and I need that data. Um, so again, if you upgraded to a new SSD drive, uh, you launch Internet Recovery by holding down the Option Command R keys on Reboot, and you'll boot over the Internet, um, and then you'll come up with a screen to restore using Time Machine. If you click that, um, and then you'll see your, your blank disk here, and you select it and hit Restore, and you're good to go. Thank you very much.